celebrate the birth of Christ. No one can really explain it, even to the non believer. The kind of difference in their demeanor and in their attitude in the season. It can only confirm what we as Christians already know. Every knee must bow.
the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone around about them. You may be seated. We're going to use for a subject, Old Night Divine. Proclaiming to you 
sometimes prophesy. Yes. Amen, yes. somebody. Yes. Why go to church? Yeah. I want to find something out. But I can't see on up the road. I know somebody who can see on up the road. And I know he'll reveal it. Not to just, now watch this, I need you to know. I need you to get this. He didn't reveal it to all the shepherds. Wait a minute. He didn't reveal it to all the shepherds. He revealed it to those who were with the flock. Bye. 
Bible says in 9, and lo, the angel of the Lord, watch this, came upon them. Have you ever been in a praise service you could feel? Now I ain't talking about what you can just hear. I ain't talking about what, see, see the, 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 the Greek word is Shekinah. It is, and you will never find this in the Bible, but it's the Shekinah glory. Some of y'all got that out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's the glory when we believe the actual presence of God comes down upon us and we can feel His presence. Not the 
Sfânt că să luăm în vădăul sumul în pace, o vădăul sumul în 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 vădăul It's not only the preacher that needs to be doing what he's supposed to be doing. Right. Right. Huh? The choir they call the son. Are you doing? Wait a minute. The deacons they call the son. Are you doing? The love they call the son. It says he was abiding over his flock. The love they call the son. And yet, the congregation has been called to something. And when we are where we are supposed to be, and the time we're supposed to be there, and God shows up in our life, and not only does he show up in our life, he shows out through our life. And yes, somebody, the Bible says that these shepherds were where they were supposed to be. And when God showed up in their life, they got happy. Yes. And yes, somebody. Yes. And yes, somebody. Yes. You know, the one of my son, okay, they had to come in where they're supposed to be. And they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. So they said they're broken. I got it.
he, 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 he never fails us, but he shows us what is short to come to, which the Lord had made known unto us. The Bible says in the next verse that they, they didn't just stick around. They was about their father's business and they moved in haste. And there's somebody. Have you ever seen when, when the instructions come, amen, and the instructions come just like that, right now, I can see a shepherd standing up, and I can see a shepherd giving instructions to the flock, and you know nobody moving, know nobody doing that. But when this word came, the Bible says, amen, somebody say amen, you can't lie, I don't say you can't, but when the word came, the Bible said, the shepherd's quick blood. Why we have to wait on God because He's waiting on you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Some of y'all ain't gonna stay on this side. They're about to die. Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. 
And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it, and all they that heard it wondered at those things which was told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorified, and praising God for all the things that they had heard and that they had seen. You know what I come to the reality of? And I come to the reality of it by the scripture. Amen, hey, somebody. Do you know I've been here? And I've been preaching for 20 years. I've been here 16 of those years. And do you know in 16 years, I still haven't seen some people praise God? I come to the realization, they ain't never been seen God. Because I ain't from the evidence right here, when you really come in contact with God, when you really come in contact with God, the Bible said they were praying. I know you didn't know that. 
All your life, you thought that the wise man came to this group. That's the way it's been portrayed. That's even the way it looks on TV. That's why you gotta have a shepherd. Come on, you gonna stay at home and watch TV. You gonna be as lost as a ball in high grass. You gotta come to church. You better be a shepherd. I want you to go home and I want you to check it out. Check it out any way you want to check it out. It was two years later when the wise man, the wise man, the man Jack, went to Jesus. Just thought I'd drop that on you today. Uh huh. I see some of y'all studying me. I love it. I love it. Go and play it. Come back to Pastor T. Maybe we need to fight. Tell me what you learn. Yeah. If you don't do nothing else, yeah. the message is this today. Yeah. The old divine night was only revealed. Yeah. Not because I am a shepherd, yeah. but that's just the way God works. Yeah. It was only revealed yeah. Yeah. to that shepherd. That lay awake and was watching for the sheep. Last week, there were several questions asked. Those of you who know, you, you, you asked them. Every week, you'll see Pastor T right here. And there'll be a line. You see it. And that line will go this way. A lot of good My wife told me, she said, I can't even ask you something, but I couldn't get to you, my wife. And it's okay. But she's got made up six times later that she'll do that. I don't leave. Listen to me. I'm not a hired. I'm a shepherd of the flock. I will not leave this church on a Sunday or on Wednesday. Until I have talked to every person that needs to see me. And yes, this week, I laid away for some of you watching over the flock by night. And I brought you answer. When I came, Sam. I brought you an answer when I came to your gods. And many others who asked me, I'll bring the answer. It was only then, and it's only now, revealed to those shepherds who lay away. Now, I ain't never away. Watch this now. I'm going to show some way. I'm going to bring it up. I know it's on Facebook, but it is what it is. I ain't there to wait for first St. Paul. God didn't send me over that. Y'all hear what I'm saying? They got somebody laying away over that. Amen? And I don't care how far you see this point in the gift. They ain't there to wait for your new spring. Because God ain't going to speak to them about your new spring. You look at that. The only one that God will speak to on your behalf right here. Because I'm the one that He sent to be His voice. And I'm the one He'll reveal. I don't know what you want to know. It's okay. But my God shall supply all. I know you ain't never heard the birth story told about that, but I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Now. The shepherds were the only one that he revealed the synopsis of the birth. And the shepherd is the only one that he's going to reveal some stuff to you on your behalf.
I got to do this. There's too much is going on. And I, I'm not going to leave before I do this. Sometimes you feel like all hope is going to listen to me good. I dealt with this last night. I've been asking God for something that I can share with the body of Christ. No. Not only, no music, no song, I want y'all to listen. If God shows something to me. Mm -hmm. King David, in the Bible, had not went out to battle when he should. And while he was not in battle, he went out on his the battle, the balcony, whatever you want to call it. One day, he saw a beautiful young girl taking a bath. He being a king can have everything he wants. Even knowing it to him, she was the wife of one of his soldiers. He called for her and some things happened. She became pregnant. He tried to cover it up. I had my husband come home from that. That did not work. Y'all stay with me. I just want you, I want you to tell, I want to show you that David was a man after God's own heart. I'm going to show you why. I want you to stay with me. And that didn't work. He even got him drunk. I'm just going to go through the scriptures pretty quickly to try to make him cover up, but yeah, he says, no, I, I will not. You and my wife, my, my brothers are going to die. So after two attempts did not work, those soldiers who know what I'm talking about, he sent him back into battle and put him on the front line. And he told the other soldiers when he gets in battle, we'll draw from him, that he would be killed. And this man in the day his army was killed to try to cover up that she was birth of his child. And I can only imagine that David laid awake night after night in his mind's eye. Y'all stay with me because I'm going somewhere. It's going it's to bless your life. I'm seeing too many things happen. I want you to understand there's always hope. Stay with me, please. Let's say amen. Amen. I imagine he laid awake at night, staring at the sin, just thinking about what he had done and all the different things he had done. Trying to find a way out, but not finding that way out. And somebody, I want, I want everybody to say this out of their mouth right now. Thank God. Thank God for the preacher. For the preacher. The Bible says Nathan came and told him of his sins. The preacher, the prophet, the man of God. And told him of his sins. You're a problem now. When the man of God comes and points out your sin, you get mad. You get winning your job. You get upset. But is that my job? I will do it. Amen. Amen. But David, I want y'all to listen to me. Did a man out the guns on the phone? Did not get mad. He repented. He changed. Listen to me well here. For that person, that feels like you at the end of your room, at the end of your home, that you've done something so bad that God don't love you. The reason David was said murder, backbiting, conniving, covering up, it's the name of you. I ain't gonna go for all of them. Adultery. And really the way he did, the, the soldiers were trees. I don't think nobody hit that on that against it. I want you to listen to me. As I as I from while I'm doing this invitation, listen to me good. When David figured out how low he had got, he didn't want to end it all. He wanted 
Y'all stay with me, please. Are y'all listening to me? Is everybody listening to me? Please listen to me. We got too many folk. When they get to that point in their life, want to end it all through suicide. Listen to me. I do not know anybody who was in any worse shape and doing stuff than King David. I want y'all to listen to me. But he knew who God was. I know I'm talking to somebody. And I, I'm not worried about y'all being emotional jumping up and down because I know you hear me. Listen to it. Rather than want to end it all, he wanted to start over. And he knew he could. In the 51st, I mean, you look at it when you get home. The 51st division of Psalm, about verse 10, he says, Create in me. Listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want you to get this. That is the same word that God used in Genesis 1 1 when he created everything. He said, I 